everyone and welcome to this uh, vlog it's now almost a quarter past nine i woke early today and i'm going to my jumping lesson i think this will be the last uh, jumping lesson i'm kind of feeling that it's getting i won't say boring but like frustrating I like it when a horse is easy um, or like light off the leg and um, like forwards and I just might be very spoilt because I have Pekin and Mola but yeah they are much more forward and responsive and these horses aren't and it's just so much hard work and although it's really fun to jump it's just i just start to feel that it's not worth it also um my dad f drives me and films because i don't have a car and yeah he starts to leave for we have a small um it's not a farm, but it's like, it once was a tiny, tiny farm. Um, we have one of those um, four hours away and he usually spends the spring and summer and early autumn there. So I can't rely on him to drive me. So that's also a reason. I'm going to eat a little bit. I have a crisp bread with some melted cheese on. I'll see you when something's happening later. <laughs> I'm so cold and he's usually always early and now he's late. And I forgot to put in my beanie. So I'm freezing. over time so on this day i got a fjord horse called ophelia she was kind of tiny uh, i felt a little bit big but she was so much fun to ride um even though the saddle was, was a nightmare so i got to warm her up a little bit in trot for myself while they were like putting up the jumps and uh, she got just better and better throughout the um the lesson um she had uh, only been there for a week uh, so she wasn't in that like school horse slow syrupy feeling yet <laughs> and i really really liked her um but the, the saddle did ruin a lot for us so i'm just like warming her up in a figure of eight in trot and then we did some poles on a broken line so like when a broken line this is first these trot poles and then the line is sort of like a broken line to these other trot poles which are um diagonally sort of to the first ones not sure if i explained this really well but like she j kaya just wants me to practice uh the feeling of like moving her and um how she was to um, steer between those because I was going to jump it later. And uh, let's just say it works very well in um, trot. Yeah, and my dad is a cat person. I'm also a cat person, but my dad is seriously a cat person. So um, this guy will show up again later. Yeah, don't film me, just film the cat. That's fine. <laughs> But Ophelia was pretty good at trotting poles. Uh, she got more and more eager. Um, the thing was, since she hadn't been worked a lot since this summer, she was a bit off her game. So um, my half holds weren't really half holds. But yeah. So we started doing these two uh, collection of poles along the line here in canter and i was supposed to count 
the striding and um yeah i was struggling uh we were trying to figure out like how long were her strides she had bigger strides than what we thought she's probably 13 two hands so like i tried to set her up and she trotted instead of collecting the canter <laughs> which was what i had planned to do but uh, looking at it now i see that i was uh, i did a lot with my hands and it's there's no like no wonder she trotted basically um so yeah we were just worked on that for a while um i got out of balance here she's her saddle was horrendous and when i lost my balance i really lost my balance um yeah so into canter again and i was supposed to count in to these poles and here it was much better but it was still long on this last one <laughs> So, uh, yay! But she got a lot of pats because at least she listened to me into the first jump all the poles. Now it's jumping time. Um, yeah, it's not going that well. <laughs> um, but these two, this, I completely misunderstood each other. She thought she was going past it. I thought we were going over it. So we went over it very unelegantly. And yes, here's the cat again. Because my dad loves cats more than his daughter. I'm just kidding. Hope dad was don't hear this any ever. But I'm just kidding, dad. If you ever see this, um, yeah. So um, we're getting ready to go again. I was supposed to jump the whole course, I think. Um, and I must say, the majority of the fault here is me and my bad riding. Like, Ophelia did her best, but she's also out of shape. I'm out of shape. I was very happy with this line. Then she broke the canter. And I just couldn't get her to canter with that short distance to that jump. Then we got a canter here. But then again, it was long there. So I lost my balance. Couldn't get my balance back and the canter back before that jump. So I circled. Yeah. And then we got the canter back and then she, into this jump she would like, yay, jump, and then just pull. Uh, but it went really well. This one also went really well. Still a little out of balance because of the horrendous saddle coming into this oxer. And I was just like, I can't see a stride. And she was just like, I'm going to jump now. And there was a whole bucking series that you didn't see. Uh, so, yeah. <laughs> I was a little bit shaken up because I don't like bucking, especially when I my saddle don't have any knee blocks at all. So we got going again. A little bit close there, but still, I'm happy. A little bit far off there, but we did have everything under control. Managed to keep the canter almost to the jump. There was some misunderstanding there. Did that one in trots. Much better. And then both horses bolted. <laughs> well, not bolted, but they got spooked. <clears throat> so um, we had to start over again. Well, I had to do the last three jumps anyway. Um, so yeah. So here she takes hold again. And then goes into trot because I'm breaking. So yeah. Trotting, jump, jumping from trot here. That's just me. Then we're coming to this freaking oxer again i was like i can't fucking see a stride i'm sorry for swearing but like i'm sitting on this and she was like if you can't put me to the correct stride and we're taking off far off i'm gonna go into bucking fit so i got to do that oxer again riding to it a little bit differently got a little bit better but still can't see the stride and i was just like i can't see the stride I'm so frustrated. And she was like, let's do trotting races. And I was just like, no, we're cantering. And she was like, oh, bus kill. But anyway, let's canter. Um, so yeah, got into a canter. Still not working 100%, but like the striding is getting slightly better every time. But still couldn't get it properly. So now we're doing the course the opposite way 
very happy with this first jump. It was the best jump of the whole lesson. Um, yeah. And then she, yeah, got a little bit far off there. Broke the canter. I'm <laughs> just like, I'm not going to bother jumping that. It was very small jumps, guys. And then we trotted this one as well. And then we did a canter to this one. Got the striding was right, but like the line to that fence was horrendous. And then I felt unbalanced and unsure of myself. And I just like, I need a circle. Let's do two before we go <laughs> into the jump. I got her into the canter. And we actually managed to get the stride properly this last time. And I was just like, super relieved and then I got to do that little one as a finish because my feeling wasn't like that great um but like this one was very good it felt very secure and everything it was a good end to the lesson and then we just um trotted a little bit and then I got off and I led her around as we put all the jumps away um, but Ophelia was amazing. finish this vlog uh, oh god <laughs> um i'm actually really happy with riding ophelia i think that was her name god i'm bad with names guys uh ophelia and she was very forward uh pretty light and um, my legs are super super happy with that um She'd only been at the riding school for a week, but Kaya knew her because she used to borrow her for uh, riding camps in the summer. And so she knew her and everything. The saddle, the saddle was horrendous. And there was absolutely no knee blocks. So I felt really insecure throughout the lesson. Like, I felt like if she pulled her head forward and down I would just fall off and I'm not sure because I haven't looked at the clips yet um 
but when we jumped the oxa um i couldn't see a distance and I, uh, I felt horrible and she was bucking off to her and it was just i felt so hopeless and uh, like i won't say scared but scared is the wrong word but i was like i don't want to fall off i don't want to fall off uh, and my pulse went up <laughs> quite a lot um it wasn't very comfortable because of that like the saddle ruined a lot for me i think i would have jumped a lot more and a lot higher if i had a saddle that <sighs> that i felt comfortable in um and also like it was the first time i rode ophelia and she hasn't been jumping since the summer and uh, Kaya said like she's not as strong or is in good shape so um, it was hard to like um, when I wanted to do like a half hold she would break the canter or sometimes she would just pull and run off with me Sometimes when I was going into doing a canter transition, uh, she would just like, I'm at the trotting racing track and I'm just going to go fast. <laughs> so yeah, so it was, I feel like it was a fun lesson, but I felt like I rode like crap. And it probably shows. <laughs> so please don't <laughs> leave me many hate comments, guys, because... Even though I know what to do, it's like my body and my brain don't like communicate. And yeah, God, <laughs> this is gonna be such an embarrassing video. Um, but yeah, um, I really want to go there and jump Ophelia more, but it doesn't look like it's gonna happen. So yeah, we'll see what happens but she was so cool and so cute and i was just like i want a fjord horse now i so want one just a little bit bigger <laughs> um yeah she made my mind up guys i really really want a fjord horse if i can find one like her that's like at least five centimeters taller then yeah definitely definitely that's my thoughts at the moment about the lesson and yeah i hope you enjoyed this vlog i'm not gonna waffle on anymore so um please please leave a comment i love comments please don't be too mean um like my videos it helps me immensely please subscribe to my channel um I always welcome new subscribers it makes me so happy if i see that i've got a new subscriber and i've seen i've gotten about 40 new subscribers after i did my giveaway and yeah it makes me so happy and i figured i would end this video with a little hint about the equine that you're supposed to find for the treasure hunt and the hint is this equine has won a silver medal in the Olympics. So that's it. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.